Hello everyone, I have here the Lego Jurassic World, except actually Jurassic Park, Visitor Center T-Rex and Raptor Attack Set. This comes with 693 pieces, and I built it live over on my Twitch channel. Now, this cost me $130 US, and if you see a view product link on the video, you can click that to see some places you can buy it. I also have my affiliate link down in the description. The set comes with six good minifigures, Rexy over here, the reconstruction of a T-Rex fossil skeleton, and also one Velociraptor. And of course, these are not the brick-built type, but this is brick-built and it's smaller than uh, the last one that we got in a relatively standalone set. But I'm gonna move these things out of the way just for the moment and focus on the main build here, which is the main thing that you're paying for here, although the animals do tend to be relatively expensive themselves in sets. Uh, I think that just on first impression, the the front of this actually looks pretty good, although you can immediately see that it's fairly hollow around the back. But I think that not a lot of pieces were wasted getting a good looking front end to this, including up to the roof, which uses some relatively large pieces. I just feel like it's efficient here. It has about the, the right amount of total, total detail and doesn't waste part budget so that instead little pieces can be used for small scenes on the inside to good effect and you can see a little bit more around here so that's your that's your overall shape and size of this thing it almost has like a like an x kind of pattern to it uh, which is which is a little bit awkward right it's probably not what you would expect with the wing uh, angling out over here and then not having another wall off to the side so everything looks opened almost fanned open Here's a little table with some sweets on it, including a bowl of jello there. You can only seat two people at that table and they don't have any extra chairs you just kind of move up to this. I like the way that they did the table cloth around the side there. Of course, you got ice cream. You got to eat the ice cream before it melts after all. And the requisite frog reference. So the frog is just representing uh, actually, what is that representing? Is that is that representing like a, a whip topping or is that a bit of ice cream as well that's just starting to melt. I don't remember the scene uh, photographically right now, but you know, that's just it for the scenes over on this side. I'm actually gonna skip all the way to the other side just real quick to take you to the lab. You got the in incubation chamber here with a couple of uh, eggs in it and the robot arm for handling that and rotating them and managing them. Managing them. I really wish that this had a turntable, just a basic two by two turntable underneath of it, just simply so that I could kind of do like this, pretend that it was you know, rotating them around, pull it up and then turn this around so I could get to the other egg. Instead, the, the robot arm is just always in one place and only ever accesses one of those. Then over here, got a good, nicer, older computer set up with the tower there. Too bad there's no print or even sticker option for the tower itself, but you can see the, oops. <laughs> You see the indication of the, the computer monitor screen, which is done with the sticker. This is actually a brand new build. I don't think I've seen them do this exact build before. I might be mistaken on that, but I don't think I recognize that for a microscope. And then over on the side, just a small desk lamp and one of those nice printed amber pieces with the mosquito in it. To the side, there's the stand-up display kiosk for Mr. DNA. That's a sticker right there. And then behind it, a very large sticker placed on a on a window there. You see these are clear backed. And this one represents was it was it like tapestry? What was it? What was that that was up that was able to, to show a little bit of light coming through it, if I re recall correctly. Was it? It was see through a little bit see-through, wasn't it? So this is this is appropriate, I think. Uh the indicated the, the the look of those those dinosaurs in in the lego style so they didn't try to go too realistic with it but just a little bit on the realistic side however unfortunately i did mess up that sticker just a little bit i had to peel it back and change its angle it's such a large thing uh, if you get it off just a little bit it really becomes noticeable because of the the gap all around the the edges and i did have to peel that one back and it left a little bit of distortion in the sticker medium itself underneath i mean like the the sticker itself felt like a felt like a good thing but unfortunately that adhesive is just not clean and then on this side you've got the painting or illustration of the raptor there it's not intended to represent the actual raptor that, that walks past sneaking in but you know just the painting and that actually matches the color scheme and everything uh, this is nice you got the the banner up there and there's actually a built-in little action feature up on the on the roof there's a little thing that you can you can push to knock out one side of this so that the banner is able to to fall down why is that not focusing 
There we go. So the battery's able to fall down. It's just a vinyl piece, but you can push the... There we go. <laughs> push that and then it just knocks out one of these Technic pieces right here. Rather violently if you want. I actually like the smaller build of the T-Rex skeleton here, especially the head. The head shape is just brilliant. I mean, uses so few pieces, but it's so perfect. It's really unfortunate that this pin piece was included in the blue color because it stands out like a sore thumb. It really does. And they could have used the tan version of that, which has no friction in it. But this is the, the mouth right now is fully open. So with the no friction one, you would not be able to bring it right here. You would not be able to have it closed, but who wants to have it closed? It's T-Rex, old school T-Rex at that old style of depiction of T-Rex, a little bit more upright and, you know, <laughs> the movie version and everything that people are most familiar with. So yeah, that, that color, I, I don't like it. I really like how they did the rib cage because you can, you can angle the, the, the ribs themselves, however you want to give it some nice shape. And then coming back here, of course, you can change the angle of of all the joints on the tail and for the legs as well. Can't do a whole lot with the arms, but that's fine. Like you can kind of, you know, kind of get this the way you want it. And it's only attached just from here. So it's it's actually pretty, uh, pretty realistic in the way that they depicted that. And just for the sake of comparison, the larger one that they did previously, what was it, a year or two ago now? So you can see what the size of that with the actual T-Rex full head. This is clearly too large for what it's intended to represent, but I think that the ideal size would be probably between those two for a you know, for representation of a skeleton of a of an adult T-Rex of this size. But this one's not too far off. It just looks like a, a younger one, you know? Yeah, that, that's it. But it's good. Like the proportions are nice and, and it was an enjoyable build. Rexy herself, meanwhile, is just the same standard that Lego has been using for quite a while. So you can have it more upright like this, or you can angle it a little bit more, a little bit more realistically. But I mean, does real realism matter that much? This is Jurassic Park, and you know our ideas of what is correct for T Rex have changed so much, so many different times as well over time. Like, oh, they're all fully feathered. I'm like, ah, oh, actually, they weren't feathered except maybe just a tiny tiny bit and stuff like they're all over the place but this isn't you know this isn't accurate but i think it's good i i, I like it you know it's a representation of the movie character in particular it's hollywood and that's fine and then it's a toy of it and i just enjoy these got a little bit of articulation there articulation there so you can have it you know, up higher looking down the little <laughs> almost useless arms move around and you can attach something bar size there got the nice snappy jaw which is good and this one in particular has the extra scars all over it the, the the marks on it that are printed in so the base color of this is tan you got dark tan here dark brown and then some uh some nougat not medium nougat but just nougat is used there and you can also rotate the tail on this one and the tip is soft the raptor meanwhile is dark tan and dark bluish gray the the eyes are really nice. It's a uh, bright spring green color. Really, really stands out. This one just has the two points for the for the jaw, but you can kind of kind of get it to hold in between. Puts a little bit of stress on the pieces, but that's okay. You can make that happen or have it all the way open, all the way closed. I like it when it's closed. It feels more realistic to me. It feels more present. It feels more like the puppets that were used for the for the live shots, and the fact that you can turn this around swivel it out the neck that's really good and i think the angle here is just just feels good again uh, soft piece for the tail although that's not separately removable and you can put something bar size into these hands here and um there's yeah can make it look like it's like it's moving so whoops wait there's a, there's a balance point there yeah that's cool here we have minifigs of alan ellie and dr Wu, and dr Wu uses one of those newer uh, skin tones that Lego introduced not too many seasons ago. I don't, I haven't uh, memorized the name of that one in, in particular, but I think that of these three, Dr. Wu is probably the most accurate looking of them, uh, just mostly in the, in the face. Uh, I think that the, the, the torso prints are good and the choices of colors are good over here. The print for the shorts, meh, at best. <laughs> I mean, that, that just that just doesn't look right. The, it's supposed to be a it's supposed to be a a band of skin tone going through, and the fact that it's not printed on the side just makes it even worse. Uh, they might as well have 
not even try it honestly with that. And I think that the faces for these two are questionable at best, just how well they match up. Unfortunately, no alternate face here. You do get an alternate face there and you do get an alternate face here. So that's good. But yeah, I think I think these could have these two could have been just a little bit a little bit better these days. And then here we have Lex, Tim and Ray Arnold with his tie undone. These torso prints are really good. All, all of them. I think that they they look good. This is my favorite. Just the, the pattern in there is, is really nice. But I think they're all done well. They're produced well. And I think the faces for the kids are fine. Although Tim here has eyes that are just the, the blacks of the eyes are just a little bit too large. Just a little bit in a in an awkward an awkward space <laughs> i do like the choice of hair piece there the hair piece here i think works out well also good prints around the backs of all of these torsos that i think are appropriate and all three of these do get alternate faces so that's good in general these three feel better than the uh the first three the first three at least uh better than the first two these are the leftover parts. There's not a whole lot extra special here. I think the most interesting thing is the black pair of binoculars. This is what the sticker sheet looked like. So those two there are definitely, I think, too large to be clear backed. They're just not enjoyable to put on, I'd say, for most folks. And uh, even for me, it wasn't the greatest. You know, there's there's just a lot of risk when you're putting big clear back stickers on clear pieces as well, especially that you can see through. Yeah, if something goes a little bit wrong, it goes really wrong. So you want to use the Windex method, you know, put some water behind there, stuff like that. Yeah, for a, a set that's made for, uh, honestly, for kids mostly, yeah, it's not the best experience. Those could have been prints. Again, the price of this was $130 US. It is 130 euros, 115 pounds UK, 170 Canadian dollars, which translates to 125 US. So just a little bit less than we pay down here. And honestly, for the amount of stuff here, that feels a little bit expensive. Not outrageously out of this world expensive, but I would have wanted a bit more here like if this just had a couple walls around the around the edges with some details on those walls i think it would have been just about there by modern expensive and lego standards right in 2023 all of that all of that adds up to expensive but i still within reason would have wanted just a, just a bit more bulk to make that feel right to me now i do recognize that these things always add a ton of extra cost to the consumer um, it adds some cost to the company as well, but you know, they really multiply up the, the prices to us. And that's just the way it is. I'm, I'm used to that. It's been that way forever, forever. That's not, that's not new, but still considering all that would have liked a little bit more here for the sake of, well, the bulk. So it feels like there's a better price to volume of stuff ratio and also more posing and to make this not feel just completely open around the back in this way it for some reason it feels even more open than a than a flat facade to me because of the way it's it's like this is opened up you know it's like it's actively peeled open and then this is actively peeled open on this side and then it's just hollow in the in the middle so just yeah just a short wall maybe something i don't know six to eight studs added here yeah just coming out not doesn't need a full floor even that's not even what i'm asking for just just a wall with something on it same thing over here i think would have made me feel much more comfortable with the with the value uh, this is good except for that one piece the figures are are decent i've i've seen plenty of folks say that well uh lex should have gotten the medium the mid-size legs i do agree with that just to have them all relatively the the correct proportions you know relative to one another i, I definitely agree with that uh, rexy here is good the Raptor is good. The overall look of this from the outside is, is good. The build is fine. Nothing too special about it. The most special thing about this entire experience for me was getting some of these. Lego has been promising for over two years now that plas uh, paper bags were on the way. And for around a year, they've been putting into some... Uh, some boxes, these little pamphlets, these little miniature brochures saying, watch out, soon you're going to have paper and plastic showing up. That's okay. Don't worry about it. It's part of our, you know, eco-friendly initiative and everything. And for quite a long time, for a number of seasons, they've been uh, cherry picking and sending out uh, to the to the land members to the, for marketing purposes, sets, some sets that have these paper bags in them. And it's all just, 
it's not added up to anything because it hasn't actually happened for the public. It hasn't really been real. We've had a ton of fans going around of various ages saying, hey, Lego is now doing things in paper bags. No, they've been sending out paper bags for marketing purposes. Now, finally, they're showing up in the real world. I think these showed up, so they did them, they've done them for a while for the base plates, but that's that's not a big, a big, uh, you know, standalone base plates. That doesn't have much Im impact. Those don't sell all that well, um, relatively speaking. And then the, the whale-like thing for the Avatar set, uh, last season had those or the season be the season before the release season before had had this and I've seen a couple other people who have gotten these in some random sets I have reviewed hundreds of sets hundreds plural of sets in the time that Lego has been saying these are happening now and these these are the first ones that I've gotten this is the first set that I've gotten any of these in you'll notice that there are no um, marks to indicate that these are recyclable because they are still lined with plastic. I'll do a separate video just talking about these. It's it's such a monumental thing. <laughs> so much, so much talk about these, but fundamentally uh, more renewable uh, carbon sources, less plastic in the packaging, even though it's not fully recyclable still. It's a it's intended to be a net win. And I'm, I'm glad to see them. And I think they'll probably do less damage. I think that they will uh, cushion the movement of parts better there's still a crinkle to it felt good and everything so yeah i'm happy to see those and looking forward to seeing more of them finally as for this though it's just it's just fine a little overpriced but fine not great um if you like what you see here go for it I, I, this is not a case where i would say you should really wait for a discount if you feel like you should wait for a discount i support that I definitely support that. The thing that I support most in terms of changing things is just, again, that one pin, that one single Technic pin. Otherwise, it's all right, it's all right. And for modifications, start adding back here. <laughs> and on we go. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this was a value to you, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.